Hello, it's Carlo here and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Um, this is going to be um, quite a basic tutorial, but what we are going to be trying to create today is this. A bit of motion graphics, well not motion graphics, but static graphics, 3D animation um, for use with titles, um, maybe some uh, credits and stuff like that. So, um, as you can see, we've got my logo, which is also my YouTube channel um, template, um, CB Animation Studio. So we've got some optical flares, we've got some nice um, 3D text. Um, so we will get cracking. So we're going to create a new composition. We are going to make it a static image, so we're going to keep it to one frame. Um, so yeah, if you want to just do a picture, remember just one frame, um, which will give you a picture. Okay, so we're going to come up to here and we're going to create a new solid. And we're going to make that solid a dark blue. So say about this one here like that. Make com size, click OK. So we've got our blue here. So with blue selected, we're going to come up here and we're going to click on our ellipse tool and then double click. So we've got this effect here. Then we're going to click back on it and then we're going to press uh, mm and we are going to feather it out like so just about there so just about 295 uh, should be fine maybe 300 like that um, okay so once that's done we are going to get our tool and we are going to type in whatever we want to type so I'll just type in my name do is we're just going to put it into position about there should be fine okay that's good that's fine last like that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to come into our effects and obviously we are going to be using elements so we are going to get our elements so we're not going to be using elements yet sorry we're going to go to layer new we're going to create another solid we're going to call it elements 3d um, I'll sort of keep it the same color then we get our elements and then drop it on top of our elements box like that and let that load so we've got our text here so what we're going to do we're going to come up here to custom layer and then we're going to go to path layer and select our Carlo there our title which is just there and then what we're going to do is we're just going to shut off the text for now don't delete it um, it's very important because if you delete it you'll mess it up so just switch it off for now and then we're going to go to our scene setup and we're going to click on extrude so as you can see I've got my name in 3d within elements which is cool okay so while um, well, after we've done that, we're going to come down to here, presets, and then what we're going to do is we are going to find our bevels, and then we're going to use the gold rim. So get the gold rim, just drop it on top, like so. So you'll get these two elements up here. Now, obviously, you're going to need elements, and you're going to also need pro shaders, but um, don't worry if you haven't got pro shaders. You can sort of um, try and... Um, do it with other textures as well um, but I just rather use this because this has got some really good um, textures on it so we're gonna get ice wall and we're gonna get that and drop it onto our shiny texture as you can see it's given us a nice actually do you know we're not going to use ice wall we're going to use glazed and I'll drop that on instead right okay so we've got crystal um, well it's like ice a block of ice right so and then we're going to select our gold and all we're going to do is we're just going to extrude it out just a little bit about there so we've got a bit of extrusion going on there and then we're going to get a glass crack here and we'll drop it onto our gold bang so as you can see we've got a nice ice icy effect title uh, turn the environment map on and we're just going to use that to create a nice sort of chrome look within our title 
okay so that's looking pretty pretty good so after that we're just going to click OK and let that load into After Effects like so so that's looking pretty pretty good okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to layer new and create, create a camera um, I've got it set to 15 but I would keep it at 15 because we want it to be quite deep so we want we don't want it to um, be very big and, and sort of spacious so we're going to hit C on the keyboard for our camera and we're just going to bring it in into position so about there maybe rotate it like that bring it over just about there like that so yeah that looks not too bad that don't look too bad at all okay so we've got a camera set like that okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this one or we're going to highlight all this and then we're going to type in curves and just do a bit of color correction on it so actually what we do we're going to do it separately so let's drop that onto our elements and let's just bring that just down a little bit bring this point just a bit up like that and then go to the red outlet and just, just bring that down just a bit so we've just got this sort of greeny sort of effect like that so we'll just bring it to about there go to our blue maybe you could bring that just up just a little bit I want to sort of keep the greeny sort of effect going so as you can see we're sort of getting there but we've still got a bit of more color correction to do um, on the background okay so we're going to get our background and then we're going to get our curves drop it onto our there and then we're going to just bring that down just a bit like so maybe bring that up just so there's enough blue so we can see this edging here like that maybe change the red bring the red down just a touch bring that up like that like so ok that's looking pretty good and let's bring that sort of down it's just a bit darker but not too dark pretty pretty good now um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on our elements and we're going to go to group 1 and get on particle replicate and down here are all your rotation settings so what we're going to do we're just going to play around with the rotation settings uh, within um, elements so as you can see if we look down here we want to open this one here so we've got scatter uh, X, Y, and Z. So we're just going to concentrate on the Z and just bring that up just like that. Bring that over like that. And just bring that in like that. Whoops, bring that there. And you just want to position it to the way you actually want it. that's looking pretty pretty good particle look uh, let's get this about down like that ok let's drop that down like that and then you can sort of play around with the positions as you sort of see fit to sort of rotate the points um, and stuff like that to so the way you want do you know what I mean you stick in 3D green changes all to one you can sort of create some pretty funky stuff with that so let's put that to two actually let's put that to one um, but you can sort of play around with it as you see fit so let's go scatter here so that's that that looks all right that looks fine we're just going to keep it like that for now but what we are going to do is going to click on our camera um, hit C 
and we're just going to sort of tip it up just slightly so it's sort of looking so it looks like we're sort of looking down or looking above it okay that looks fine okay so now we are going to go new solid and keep this blue again and then what we're going to do is we're going to type in optical flares and we're going to get our optical flares and drop it onto our solid go to optical flares settings and obviously you're going to have to have optical flares with this as well unfortunately there's a lot of packs you need but you can sort of play around with the different flares I like to use this mini anamorphic here which is cool and then we're going to open this up right click blend and add ok so we've got our little optical flare there so when you open this, go to effects, click on optical flares, and that will give you a position so you can sort of add your optical flares. So stick the brightness to about 50, to about there. You don't want it too bright, otherwise it's going to look a bit crap. And then we're going to go Control D, duplicate our layer, and then open our second solid up. Here, click on that optical flare, and it's just going to bring this one down to probably about there. That looks too bad. Let's stick this one to about 40, so it's sort of a little bit less like that. And then close this up like that. So it's looking pretty good. Um, we haven't got these sort of twists and turns um, at the moment, but um, you can sort of you know when you when you're using element 3d it's about what sort of you want um, and how you want it positioned but there's um, lots of ways you can sort of you know sort of orientate the transitions of it like that yeah, sort of like that you know you can sort of do whatever you want to it really but yeah that looks look pretty 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 good so random forward okay so um, yeah I mean that's really about it for that tutorial but what we can do now is we can just do a bit of color correction on, on it all so I'm just going to highlight that drag color drag curves adjustment drop that on there like that and then we can sort of play around with that actual final outcome texture there so let's bring that out like that so that's looking pretty awesome now let's go to our background just bring our background just maybe just up a bit like that let's bring that down to that look at our C for our camera because that don't look right that's too that's too high up and that's it, really. Scale solid. Open our optical flare. And let's put that sort of in position. So it's just on the base. On a second optical flare. And just bring that into position there. So yeah, that is how you do. Um, bit of motion graphics or a bit of um, 3d title work um, within after effects and all, you know remember this is using you know a bit of elements a uh, bit of optical flares a bit of color correction stuff like that so I, ho I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, stay tuned for the next tutorial when we'll be trying well, we'll be trying to um, put in 3d objects into full scenes um, and that'll be coming up on the next tutorial so thanks for listening. Oh, please subscribe. <laughs>